So I'm learning new things here. Uh, sometimes it feels like I learn new things and forget other things. So I probably already knew this at some point in the past, but forgot about it. But that's priorities. Um, it looks like Trump not necessarily lost, technically. <laughs> um, this, you know, America, you got such, you, you're too liberal with even your own politics and it's not politics anymore, it's a popular, popularity contest. Um, it's never really finalized till the 14th of December, I've just learned. Um, same as every other election that's passed, apparently. Now, if it's true or not, I don't know, but apparently there are no laws whatsoever to mitigate, um, please correct me if I'm wrong, to mitigate Trump refusing to leave office. It's just that they've always done that out of... Uh, a sensible justification of it's the right thing to do let somebody else have a go so yeah I don't understand this he's he lost but he hasn't lost any because it's never really truly finalized till the 14th it sounds highly contradictory to me you know you, you either win or you lose you know he lost the uh, the election and you know but it's never really, you know, there's lots of ins and outs that need to be finalised before, like, the 14th. It doesn't tend to happen like that in, like, a European country, maybe. Um, not trying to say it should happen a particular way. In America, but there's, there's definitely big, huge gaps in here that are open to to invite games being played anyway. Um, corruption and um, you know just bad gamesmanship. So, you know, I guarantee though, you know, the, the flood and torrent, there's going to be like torrential rain if um, it just finalizes where Biden is the rightful owner for the title of President of the United States. Uh, if that happens, the amount of smear campaign and backstabbing will flood through. Trump will backstab those who were close to him and supporters within his own political arena, within his people, the people he would confer with immediately and advisors. So I, I was like, ah, congratulations because the lesser of two evils, unfortunately, and it's the same mindset same perspective when Trump got in at all. It was lesser of two evils and I still believe that. It could have been worse. Believe it or not. If Hillary got in, he's just not just as bad. He's completely psychotic, Hillary is, and so is Trump in a different way, in a narcissistic individual kind of way. It's just the it's sad when leaderships, uh, the, the majority of leadership becomes so erroneously egotistic and self-important and foolish. When the smartest people of the world are struggling to get jobs. But you know, there's, there's, there's a difference between being smart, intelligent and being able to apply it and being clever 
the cleverest people are not the smartest people. There's a big difference here. And you see that all the time. That's a big problem. People get gaslighted into thinking the clever people are the ones we should appoint to be in authority because they come up with clever ideas, but it's not smart ideas. It's clever manipulation of people, gaslighting people, rather than actually showing uh, an aspect that's not an echo chamber. Um, you know, Trump supporters and Trump himself, it just, there's a huge amount of similarities between that and this idiot, this complete dim-witted lowlife of complete bullshittery Jason Smith. All his followers, who, who, the ones that really, really suck up. Not the ones that watch because they got something to laugh at. Not laugh with, laugh at. The ones that really, really suck up are dumber than he is. All they want is an echo chamber to say, oh, Jason's right, he's justified, he's great researcher, prolific documentarian, <laughs> right? I mean, you get to see a documentary from him, but they, this is exactly the same. But even worse, it's happening top authority. I, I say top authority, but people make that error as well. They make that mistake that they think if you're the president of America, suddenly you're now the most powerful person in the world. Not true. No, it's really not true. Corporations, the big players, the big companies that work for stuff for, for military as well and pharmacy and uh, construction of technologies here and there they're the big players they're the, the, the ones that own America really the president is just signing contracts uh, and, and should have wise ideas as why the contract should be signed in the first place and where the money should go uh, in the justification and so on. Like I've said before, you know, but the public are not given details of that. You're not given politics, you're given a popularity contest. It's like many Americans think they know what politics is. And the way it's going, they probably, I mean, there's some really intelligent Americans out there. They, they know what political stance is, really, you know. But uh, some who might not be that aware of the, of the bigger picture then could probably be forgiven for thinking now, thinking that politics and a popularity contest are exactly the same thing. They're not. Popularity contest is a popularity contest. Politics is politics. It's not a popularity contest. You're not sp supposed to like or hate. You know, you, surely, you, you know, if you hate Trump, fine. If you love him, fine. If you're on the fence, fine. That's got fuck all to do with him doing his job. Um, and you see that happening in the UK as well. And when somebody gets uh, appointed to be prime minister, the the smear campaign in the newspapers, uh, oh, uh, had this personal time in their life where they was a bit of a dick, a bit of an idiot, and they use that to manipulate people's emotions into. Oh, don't! I'm not going to Trump for him, vote for him because I don't like him. Regardless of the fact, will they be able to do a relatively better job than the previous one, or will would it be better for a more of a majority than a minority? And I say that because you cannot have a political success without somebody losing out somewhere. And uh, but the the attempt, the ideal. Less in an ideal world, it would be the majority have what they they've been promised. 
But there's always going to be some people who lose out, whether they're a majority or minority. You cannot have your whole cake in politics and eat every slice or there's some you got some crumbs left you can't have the whole thing um but that doesn't even that's not even beginning to be encouraged to be think about thought about within a popularity contest it's like when uh boris johnson was appointed to be prime minister in the uk i couldn't give two fucks what went on in his personal life the papers were full of this he did this he did that so what let's see what he does with his job um you know if i had a massive argument with people really close to me and, and family and then i was going to a job interview do you think they care about my my family personal life no they want to see if i can do a good job And people argue, well, it's an argument from um, character. Then, what well, you're expecting people to be a complete machine and perfect? It doesn't happen. It cannot happen. Human beings are very emotional. We are, and in emotional speeches, we are seventy percent emotional and illogical. You know, seventy percent of the time, thirty percent of the time. We're more critical thinking, although there's those, like I've said before, that try to mitigate that erroneous attribute of ourselves because they recognize it within human nature. And that's where things can begin to start to change a bit. Rather, than, But the longer you just do the popularity contest, you're not beginning to change that. You're not encouraging that. You're not breeding that into the next generation. What you're doing is basing things on emotion and look at these social justice warriors getting incredibly aggressive now over simple things that oh they didn't have their slice of cake right and wear it you know just because you know i don't know they're a victim or something maybe they're too short or too fat or they get, you know everyone's got some thing about themselves that they might not like when you compare it to the ideal image of what you want to be but so many times what you do you improvise you try to work around that we'd all like to be more intelligent most people i think um but when you struggle with certain things you improvise and try to work around things and do your do your best Oh, I'd like to think, but then there's individuals like Trump, like Jason Smith, are so damn lazy they don't care about trying, they care about being addicted to that ideal image. And then convince themselves they are that ideal image. Via appealing to people who are dumber than they are, so that these people can be gaslighted and convinced that they are that fake image via the support of those dumb people it's a really serious problem it really is a very serious problem that is embedded into us human nature we need to literally breed these things out of us you now that i think um of course that's eugenics which is you know could, you could argue <laughs> That's immoral, uh, and I'm not a supporter of that. But you know, something somewhere has got to break uh, in the realization of the stupidity of these types of behaviors of ourselves versus wiser attributes. That's all I wanted to say today, really. Um, yeah, I I've been trying to follow this and. Yeah, you know, thinking about certain things that the why that things are the way they are, and what else could be done to mitigate it, and there's no easy answer. It's just frustrating, though. 
which causes me to oh, I'm gonna do a video and get something off my chest. Regardless who the final crystallized idea, the, the final end, whatever you want to call it, you have to talk, try and find words because, you know, he won the election. Okay, he should be president. But no, it's not not finalized till the 14th. I guess there's lots of things that need to be done anyway. Uh, paperwork, transfer of power, and so on. But even if he is completely the rightful owner, I'm predicting Trump refusing to leave office. I would originally, when I said that, I thought, nah, probably unlikely, but possible. I'm after what I'm seeing. Um, the egotism and the narcissism. I think it's even more likely now. I could be wrong. I want to be wrong. Actually, I want it to be uh, in an ideal world where the Americans would say, "Congratulations, Biden. Um, well done, Trump, for having the go at being president." But that's not going to happen from everyone. Some people are going to be way too emotional over this. Riots will happen. And I don't think they're going to be very good at controlling that. I don't think it's going to be little pockets here and there. It's going to get out of hand. People are going to have to protect themselves who were uh, victims of being roped into things via no fault of their own as well. I want to be wrong about that. You know, in bigger picture, I probably don't know enough. And. You know, it, you know, I it is not. I not. I don't do these videos to put out. Here's what I want to happen. I'm putting them out. To, here's what I think might happen, and what it looks like because of, and give you the information as to why. And it, it, certainly, one of the reasons why I think it's going to turn ugly is the same reasons as many other people do because Trump is a narcissistic piece of crap. It's that simple. You love him or hate him. And his followers are just dumb as dirt. But that's what he's cultivated. He's eliminated anyone who tells him or questions his authority. Jason Smith does the same thing. You get blocked, you get banned, you get kicked out. But if you're supporting him in saying, oh, great show, uh, great researcher, you're knowledgeable, uh, great. Well, it's completely a lie. But you're rather big on yourself up via the lies. It's kind of almost spooky with the similarities with that going on. And like I said, it's a aspect of human nature that needs to be addressed it's almost i tweeted back to somebody this morning and said it's almost as if that we need an alien psychotherapist to address the these aspects of human idiocy or at least something that is outside of our own fuckery maybe an ai who knows that, that's going to happen one day anyway. It's beginning to happen, I'm sure. Uh, artificial intelligence uh, therapist, you know, advisor, and things like this. Yeah. So, hello, with the video. AI is something that does fascinate me. Anyway, thank you for watching. I look forward to doing another video soon. I really hope things are going to pan out smooth over. That's what I want to see. But it's not what I see happening. It's what I want to see. But, you know, it's possible. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Cheers. Bye.